Welcome to the 2v2 online battle arena for BFME 1 on the page 2.22. This time on the map Mouth of the Entourage. And the matchup is going to be Gondor and Isengard versus two Mordors. And I miss this game, man. I'm so rusty, so forgive me if I misplay this one. <laughs> you know, I couldn't play as many games as I wanted to in the last weeks, but hopefully. I will manage to get to my PC a bit more often. Okay, we need to build a post and gate right there on the spot. So my Hobbit can reach this settlement there way faster. Okay. Let's get this settlement in the front and try to destroy the enemy lumber mills. Go Hobbit, go, go. Peregrine took. My clicks are so bad actually, you know. I'm playing this game not very good anymore, boys. But I like the online battle arena quite a lot. I think it's a big uh, step for the BFME community. And also very soon there is going to be an advanced matchmaking to make the matches you will get into more fair and balanced, you know? So hopefully, regardless of your skill level, if you are a beginner, noob, medium or good, you will always be matched in a fair way. Okay, nice. So we avoided the works, and my opponent, I believe the direct opponent is the White Mordor, if I'm not mistaken. You will find out very soon. And now we are going for the stable. My ally should be doing good, kinda, I think, I hope. Now we are against blue, alright. Blue and orange. Nice, so let's destroy this lumber mill over there. He has not many defenses, but he was going for a counter push. With the, with the Golem and also the Orc Warriors. Should be able to destroy this, no problemo. But my Hobbit is taking heavy damage, so I think we need to give up this settlement. For that reason, it's better to go for one more Blacksmith in the, in the castle, because we will otherwise be too poor to produce any Knights of Gondor from the stable. Okay, so let's get down. Hopefully he doesn't have any towers in the castle, so I can move around the castle to destroy his second lumber mill. He's using the Eye of Sauron. Um, I mean, that's not good for me. He has even a level 2 orc now. Oh my god, that's... You see that's a possibility now in this version, because the orcs are dealing more damage to the outer settlements of Gondor and Rohan, which makes Mordor way stronger in the early game. And Mordor is already strong in the mid to lead game. The main weakness of the Mordor faction was always at the beginning of the game, the starting phase, you know? Now with the stronger orcs against structures, this problem is, this problem is him I uh, solved. But we don't want to make Mordor too strong at the beginning of the game also, because you know, if you are very strong early game, you will just have a very easy time to get to your, really power, your real power spike in the mid to lead game. And nobody wants to have to deal with Mumma kills, trolls, two Nazgûls, Witch King in like 10 minutes into the game, you know what I mean? So far so good, but I'm assuming we will also lose this farm over there. I don't think we can save it. I, I will try to get this soldier to level 2. All I need is to kill some workers. Come on, kill one worker, man. Come on, do it, do it, do it, do it. Yes, okay, now we can commit to the slaughterhouse too. That's beautiful. Nice, nice. We are doing good so far. But we lost the two starting farms outside. It's not very, you know, very good. But I think it's okay. Because we also destroyed both his own lumber mills, which is, I believe, is a bit worth more. His eco is not looking too hot in the castle. And my ally also captured this one in the front. That's pretty good. So I want to creep down. With my knights to get power points and in an ideal world i want to get to great company special summon okay that's my goal and we also need to fill up the bees cash floating is the one thing you always need to improve first so decision making adapting your play style to your opponent and uh, cash floating these are the most important steps 
Let's go. I want to creep this one so I get one more farm. That's pretty good. Let's get down there to help my ally a bit. And my ally will have to deal with lots of orcs, so it's good. When you play this matchup against double Mordor and your ally is Isengard, it's always good to keep one of your knights with your ally so your knights can always trample the orcs. So your ally will have an easy time to advance, you know? Trample time! But there are too many of them, we get slowed down, but it's okay. We can also creep this one right there, around the outpost, and we have now full bees, which is amazing. And we will also have uh, shields very soon for our Knights of Gondor. And creeping, of course, doesn't only give you power points, but also you will get levels on your units, and also you will get additional resources. So it's like creeping is super highly rewarded in this game. And when you don't creep and your opponent creeps, it's even worse. So <laughs> it's always good to take the creeps from the entire map if you can. Okay, like I said, I want to get the outpost maybe at the bottom side. Let's heal this up a little bit. And I will creep this at the bottom left. And also I will build the outpost there. So I will build a statue and also a well for my ally. So you can recover there a bit. And we can also protect this outpost quite easy with the crossbowmen and combos from Isengard. Creep this, no problemo. There are many orcs actually, holy! <laughs> the age of men is over. The age of the trolls, not trolls, orcs has come. And your goal is always to keep, you know, destroying the enemy lumber mills over and over again. That's very important. Just do it as long as you can. It's gonna be difficult to do when he has trolls up on the field, but until this is gonna happen, you gotta be destroying the lumber mills whenever they are up, just to, you know, hurt the eco from Mordor. Here in this situation, um, because you have an evil ally, he will have an easier time to get money, because we have one of the knights protecting his settlements, we are trampling the orcs, so the orcs can never get through this outpost. There are some mountain trolls, but it's okay, we will go for the bleeds now, forge bleeds. And my ally will also later on get Boromir and Faramir from me. And Gandalf is very important in this also. Gandalf is very important because at some point of the game we might need to deal with like two Nehazgus, Witch King, plenty of trolls. And Gandalf is like basically a hero that is good against everything in the game. Because you are the only hero that can bully all the melee units, but also burst the flying heroes, like Nazgûl and Witch King. I want to get all the outposts, so because we, when you get the outposts, you can make sure that your opponent can't take them, you know? Mm, but most people doing the mistake that they get the outpost way too soon at the beginning of the game which is kind of very expensive to build and to equip you know it's better to fill up your base first when you play Gondor or Rohan watch on me here maybe ah never mind that's unlucky man that's unlucky you, oh my god that's so unlucky boy what a horrible ranger summon. I didn't expect the second troll there, to be honest with you. Holy. Oh man, I don't like this. <laughs> I don't like this even a bit. Okay, let's go for the base of this dude. And des destroy at least one slaughterhouse. They are level 2, that's gonna hurt them. Build triple farm, just why not. More eco is always great. And let's go for the structural damage with the knights. And we can also trample down the orcs over and over again. Let's save this knight of Gondor. But there was a 3 power point wasted, pretty much. Wasted. Nice, beautiful. Okay, keep going, keep moving. Knights with the forge bleeds and also shields are very beefy and uh, towers won't hurt them that much anymore, you know? I can heal this. I mean, he made a mistake, he used the Screech way too, way too early. 
Oof, what a fine hit there with the Witch King though. Because the Warchan is gone, and the Witch King is not gonna die that quickly, you know? If my Boro gets level 4 though, it's gonna be great. But multitasking is very important, while we are rushing his bees, we also wanna pressure the other guy um, doing this. Oh. I don't have a good feeling about this, boys. I don't have a good feeling about this. The trolls are coming! The trolls are coming! I mean, he has no drama troll, but he has Witch King. Witch King needs to stay closer to the trolls. Boromir, you gotta be knocking them down on the ground, my friend. Boromir, do your thing. Boromir is a great counter hero to the trolls, by the way. As you can see in the tell, he's able to knock them down on the ground. He doesn't one-shot them, obviously, because they are beefy and tanky. But you can disable them, and we will get the kill here on the troll, which is very good. And my Boro is going to be almost level 4. Damn, there is a Witch King. We need to build, but it's okay. My Boro is about to get level 4. Beautiful. Beautiful. Okay, let's send Boro to the combos of my ally. Then it's gonna be good. Amazing. Nice. I like that one, to be honest. I like that one. Okay. Now, next step, we will go for the Gandalf. Okay? Gandalf is going to be our next hero. We have power points to turn him into the Gandalf the White. And we have like two outposts, you know? So we are very, very rich. We have a full beast, multiple level 3 farms, so money should not... Oh my god, what is Boromir doing there? Boromir, one does not simply walk into Mordor. You said it yourself, son. Die. I swear to you, I clicked with the U button. I wanted to make him that he will follow my allies' combos, but he didn't want to listen to me, man. He didn't want to listen to me, man. I don't like this. Trample time! Yeah, you know what I like about the battle arena? There are many, many, many different maps and everything is randomized. So you basically eventually have to play on multiple different maps, um, which kind of keeps it very entertaining for me, because I'm not experienced also in those maps. I haven't played those maps many times. Uh, you know, back in the day before this battle arena was a thing, most people were only playing on two 2v2 maps, and one of them being Anorian, the other one being Vault. And there was like the majority of the games being played on these two maps exclusively. Now we have many more maps in this one. We have like Pelar Gear, we have Mouth of the Endwash, Duradan Forest, we have uh, Central Italian, Buckland, many, many maps, many, many maps. And that's great because that will kind of force the player out of the comfort zone and you need to adapt to every map. Nice, this guy was using, you know, industry on my blacksmith. All right, beautiful. Let's go now. I don't know if it's going to be that very soon. Let's turn him into the Gandalf Divide, and this push should legit win us the game now. Should be able to win us the game. Ooh, the keeps are very expensive, so they cost a thousand. A thousand dollars. Oh, is that arise precisely when he means the boys? And oh, quick question to you boys, what did you ever did you try yet the online battle arena? If yes, what's your opinion about it? Do you like it? Do you enjoy it? Do you have any feedbacks, recommendations? Like I said at the beginning of the game, uh, we are also working on the fair matchmaking. Oh my god, hold on a second. Hold on a second. I need to heal them. I'm gonna heal them. I don't wanna lose them. Come borrow me, join them. You must join with him. It would be wise, my friend. Okay, they are defending the one base, so we can go for the other base. No problemo. Beautiful, beautiful. My tower should be able to protect this. By the way, you can also garrison now the towers from each faction. So when you build towers at the outpost or at the castle or camp, you can also put archers inside the tower for more content in DPS. Destroy the... Oh my god, we are getting bullied there. Destroy this and get out. Destroy this and get out. I'm a servant of the secret fire. Wield off the flame of Anor. Go back to the shadow, Nazgul. Dude, this one troll is actually smashing everything. They are calling it Gigi though. Gigi Uplit. Um, I think we have not lost a single game yet in the 2v2 department. But we will check after this game is done. Um, and hopefully it was enjoyable for you guys. I will try to keep playing more and more games. So, if you want to see more, subscribe to the channel if you haven't already.
Okay, so let's check the ranking and that's the launcher by the way, if you haven't seen it yet. So you can just press on search, click and play. In 2v2, we are rank 9, our score is 7-0. Let's see if we can get uh, remain undefeated until 10 games, okay? See you next time. Until then, take care of yourself. Keep hitting like a truck and as always, stay beyond standards. Peace out, boys.